So now we're going to be looking at the uh, shell method to find volumes. And this is a different shape that's created. Okay, so you can technically do most volumes with, with washer method, but sometimes it's easier to do it in the shell method. Okay, and so that's kind of the, the, the name of the story is sometimes we do volumes. And this big idea is I'm still going to create a representative rectangle. Okay. And when I revolve this shape around the y-axis, it creates this shape here. It's like a really thin cylindrical shell. Okay, if you can kind of imagine the shape. And so the question is, is uh, what is the volume of such a shape? Well, the way I think of it is I want to slice this thing and I want to unroll it. I'm going to unroll this cylindrical shell. So it's going to unroll, and if you can visualize it, it will unroll into a flat piece of of thing here like this where this is my representative rectangle so I, I've unrolled it now what is the height now what is the volume of this thing is the question right well the thickness of it is dx I just need to do length width times height the height is um, the y value of this curve which would be 3 minus x squared and this length because I unrolled it, it would be the circumference of this circle times the radius that would be 2 pi times r now what's the radius here is the is the x value here. So we would just say 2 pi x because the x value is the distance from the y-axis here. So the volume here is going to be 3 minus x squared times 2 pi x times dx. That would be the volume. And then I want to compute the volume by integrating from all of the shells from 0 to 2. Okay. Now I don't need to go negative two to two because that would be double counting extra rectangles. I want to do all the rectangles created from zero to two. That would encompass the entire volume, by the way. So this is just to pull out the two pi integral zero to two x three minus x squared dx. I could distribute or I could do u substitution. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to just distribute because I find three x minus x cubed dx. And this is going to be 2 pi times um, 3 halves x squared minus 1 fourth x to the fourth from uh, 0 to 2. The 0 doesn't do anything, so when I plug in 2, I get 2 pi times 3 halves times 4. That's 6 minus 2 to the fourth is 16 divided by 4 is 4. So that's 4 pi. Similar thing here, I'm going to take a rectangle and revolve it around the y-axis here. Okay, so it's going, to, it's going to create a rectangular sheet here, right, with a little bit of thickness. Thickness is dx. The height is just the cosine x. And this is 2 pi times the radius. The radius being the distance from here to here, which is just the x value that I'm at. I'm at x value, so 2 pi x. So this is going to be the integral 2 pi x cosine x dx. Now, um, it turns out for this one, uh, we don't have the techniques at this point to do this. Um, so let's change the problem a little bit. Let's say it was cosine x over x for some reason. I don't know. Nah, I don't know. It, it, it doesn't really matter. I think the setup is the most important thing. This one you have to do integration by parts, which is a technique that you don't have at your disposal. So we'll just do as like a setup on the integral. Maybe I'll change the problems to just be set up the integral. Okay. So now we're going to use the shell method to find the volume of the solid created when the shaded region is revolved around the x-axis. So um, I want to make the shells look like this because I'm revolving around the x-axis, so it's going to look like this. Okay, now I know the volume of this. Again, I just, I'm not going to draw it unrolled, but the volume is the thickness, in this case dy, times the height of this, times the, times the circumference, right, when I unroll it. So the height of this, I have to be careful, it's this x value minus this x value. So I need to solve for x, 
x is equal to 3 minus x squared is 3 minus y. So x is equal to plus or minus square root of 3 minus y. Right? And so um, this right value is the positive x, and this is the negative x. So the difference, the distance between here is just simply 2 times root 3 minus y. And then uh, the radius is just the y value, like this. So we would integrate this one here. So this is going to be the integral 2y root 3 minus y dy. This one you actually have to do, and then the y values, we're going to go from 0 to 3. This one you actually do have to do a u substitution. Negative dy. I'll show you kind of how this works. Um, so then I can convert everything. I still have this y, so I'm going to do the integral 2 times y times root u du. But then, now there's a negative sign because of this. Now to, 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 to replace y, I'm going to do y is equal to... Uh, 3 minus u, right? And so now I can replace this y with uh, 3 minus u. So it's going to be negative integral 2 times 3 minus u, u to the 1 half du. And now the last piece is I just got to do a bound conversion, right? u of 0 would equal 3 because um, when I plug in 0, I get 3. And then u of 3 is equal to 0. So this is going to be 3 to 0. I can swap the bounds to get rid of this negative sign. 0 to 3. And then I'm going to distribute. So first I'll keep the 2 outside, and this is going to be 3 root u minus u to the 3 halves du, right? And so this becomes 2 times 3 u to the 3 halves over 3 halves minus u to the 5 halves over 5 halves um, from 0 to 3. That's going to be 2 times 4. Oh, these are going to cancel, so that's going to just simply be 2 times 3 to the 3 halves minus 2 fifths um, <clears throat> 3 to the 5 halves. So this is going to be 2 times 2, 3 root 3 minus 2 fifths 3 squared, 9 root 3. And so that's um, 6 root 3, 2 times 6 root 3, minus 18 over 5 root 3. Uh, that's 30 over 5, 30, that's 12 over 5, 24 over 5, so that's 24 over 5 root 3. All right. Thanks for watching. If you're looking for more examples, go to my website. In there, I have free access to over 400 calculus questions that I solve and I show you step by step. So if you're interested in seeing more, please check out my website.